you guys and welcome to my new video and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Karen and in case you didn't know I am a Mexican living in the Netherlands and I guess I am an expat and this is the first time that I ever referred to myself as an expat but I mean I am right I'm living in, a, in another country so anyway in this video I am going to tell you the things that I still cannot get used to about the Netherlands even though I have been living here for five years so if you're curious keep on watching so the first thing that I still can get used to about the Netherlands or in the Netherlands it's the weather and especially the winter it's so cold for so many months in a row that when the first warm day is here, oh my god, I feel like I wake up from my winter sleep. And I mean, I am not used to the cold winters because I am from Mexico, from Cancun. In Mexico, we do have places where there is cold during the winter, but not in Cancun where I am from. So in the beginning it was really hard to adjust like I, I didn't know that I was going through the winter depression I didn't know what even winter depression was I mean I've heard of it but I didn't know how it felt like and for me how it felt like or how it feels like it's that you know I don't feel the energy or the enthusiasm to do anything outside if it's always gray if it's raining if it's cold if it's super windy you know I I just really feel no motivation at all so that's really hard on me yeah the winters and the weather in general it's something that i am not used to and still you know i'm not used to how gray the days are because okay one thing is the winter i understand that but the majority of the year in the netherlands it's gray in the sky so sometimes it can be a little bit depressing to look outside and always see a gray sky but then again you don't appreciate the sun unless it's gone so in the summer or the first day of the spring of a really warm sunny day it feels amazing so it has advantages and disadvantages but I guess the ideal for me would be that the winter would be maybe one or two months rather than six months of cold weather because that's how it feels like for me okay so the next thing that I still can get used to is the fact that stores close at five every day from Monday to Friday actually every day they close at five also in the malls you know like loading stores shopping stores grocery stores grocery stores nowadays are open until later like seven or eight in the evening but it's quite surprising for me that in Europe I don't know if actually it's the whole Europe but I know in the Netherlands the shops close at five maybe in the city in the big cities in the center like in Rotterdam where I live in there are some stores like H&M or Sada or Bershka that close around 6.30 but that's still very early because let's say that you work every day from 9 to 5, you know, Monday to Friday then you barely, like you don't have time to shop anything and I don't mean just shop clothes but what if you have to go and buy, I don't know, your beauty products at the drugstore, you know it's just like incredible in Mexico, every store in the mall or outside the mall it's open until 10 in the evening so you know for me actually I love going to the malls in the evening in Mexico and here well that's just not a possibility but I guess it's a love-hate relationship because if I would end up working at a clothing store I would love to be done at 5 and to know that I don't have to work until 10 however though on Fridays the stores are open until 9 in the evening so the people that are working I guess can afford to also shop during the week and not only in the weekends and another thing that I'm still not used to is the fact that you have to pay parking almost everywhere and even outside your house if you live in a big city like Rotterdam for example I live in a building and if I have a car we have to pay parking just to park outside our building which is insane because everyone should be able to park for free outside their home also I know people who live like in really houses in like a neighborhood like a family neighborhood and they still have to pay parking and that's just for me so crazy because in Mexico you can park everywhere for free unless it's literally a parking lot where you have to you know go in with your car get a ticket then you have to pay but the pay is pretty cheap it's like I think for the first three hours like 15 pesos which is like less than a euro so it's like insanely cheap well here in the Netherlands if you park your car at the parking lot sometimes it's like 
three euros for one hour and if you spend like if you if you go like a minute beyond that hour they charge you automatically the full hour or the full 30 minutes so it's insanely expensive to have a car and park it in the city in the center at the shopping mall everywhere you have to buy pay parking and that's just that's just insane to me another thing that i'm still not used to it's once again related to the shops and their opening times so on Sundays in small towns in the Netherlands there is nothing open not even grocery stores only restaurants and in bigger cities the stores are open the grocery stores are open but they open until 12 in the afternoon so for example if you happen to have a job which is not a job from Monday to Friday from 9 to 5 and you have to work on Sunday morning 8 in the morning somewhere and you forgot to the groceries the night before and you don't have anything for breakfast then you are pretty much much in trouble because there is nowhere where you will be able to buy breakfast or to buy ingredients to prepare your breakfast before 12 in the afternoon and that's just that's just crazy for me you know but once again I guess it's good for the people who actually work at the grocery stores that on Sunday they get to sleep in until 12 or until 11 so they can prepare to go to their work at the grocery stores or the shopping stores but it, it is insane for me that in the smaller cities there's no, nothing open not even like a grocery store it's it's crazy because in Mexico grocery stores are opened every day until like once again 10 in the evening and another thing that I am not used to still is related to doctors and the medical service like Mexico and the Netherlands are completely different when it comes to health and healthcare in Mexico there are basically two institutions which are from the government which are called IMSS and ISTE and those are institutions where people can get free everything related to medicines is for free you know you get your doctor's consultations for free surgeries for free medicines for free it's owned by the government so every employee has the right to be insured by either IMSS or ISTE by the employer the employer gives you that insurance and if you go to school the whole time that you're in school you also get insured by your school you know in either IMSS or ISTE usually IMSS and well you know that you have that medical service for free the only thing is that sucks because sometimes you want to get an appointment and you have to wait until they have a space available and that can be in two weeks that can be in one month but that can also be in six months you know so it is quite mm, tricky and questionable if it's actually so good but the doctors that work over there actually are good doctors and they actually have good medicines it's just that because it's something that it's for free you know it takes more and more time however you also have private uh, health care which is when you yourself decide just to go to see an specialist let's say that I have to go to the gynecologist and instead of going to the IMSS I decide to just go and make an appointment with the gynecologist that I found out online or that someone recommended or whatever and I go there and I pay him cash or my credit card I don't know you pay him and that's it so I'm very used to also because my mom is a doctor so my experience is not like as it is completely in Mexico I'm used to certain level of medicine expectations you know if I'm sick I always get the attention that I need right away or the, or the medicines and basically I never had to go to the doctor because my mom is a doctor and if I had to go for example to the dentist or the, to the ophthalmologist which is the eye doctor or to the gynecologist then I would go and it would be so easy you call you make an appointment for tomorrow you go boom right there is also in Mexico this unwritten rule that if you are a doctor and you go to see another doctor because you're sick that doctor is not gonna charge you any money because you're kind of colleagues of the same uh, of the same business which is the medical business the same industry the healthcare industry and also that counts for the family of the doctors so for example me being the daughter of a doctor when I was sick for some reason and I had to go to a certain doctor rather than my mom that doctor wouldn't charge any money for my 
consultation even though maybe the doctor had never met my mom even though maybe the doctor was in another state completely in another city it was for free it is an entitled like on written rule well in the Netherlands the healthcare is very different at least in my experience of foreigner or immigrant or expat or however you want to call me first of all when I was a student I had a student insurance which was specifically for international students which were too great the only thing is that I had to pay everywhere I went cash and then I had to declare that money to my insurance and my insurance would give me back the money so it worked perfectly however it is quite different in the way that first of all you have to subscribe to a house doctor and it has to be somewhere around your neighborhood because the house doctor is supposed to be able to come to your place in case that you cannot leave your house and that you're sick then that he can come check you so it has to be nearby in Mexico it doesn't matter where your doctor is and well in the Netherlands the doctors uh, hospital let's they're they call them practices in, in Dutch so let's call them house doctor houses <laughs> uh, those places are allowed to deny you because maybe they have too many patients already and maybe they're full which for me it's kind of crazy because what if you are actually in need of a doctor and that's the only option you know maybe that's the only doctor that lives nearby you and the next one which is like an hour away is not gonna accept you because it's too far so that's something that I'm still not used to it's kind of crazy for me and also for example in Mexico when you go to the doctor the doctor asks you you know what's wrong with you and then you explain your story very explicitly you know you say you know when it started how it started how you feel how you be, have been feeling how you feel now etc etc all your symptoms all your complaints all your other diseases that you've had you know it's a very thorough tough conversation so that the doctor actually finds out you know mostly your whole medical experience 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 file your whole medical file you know maybe it's the first time that he's seeing you so you have to tell him all those things and most of the time you can be inside with the doctor for like 30 40 minutes you know because it's a very thorough uh, checkup well in the Netherlands basically when you go to a house doctor you are in in five minutes you're out in five minutes you know five minutes you are in and out and it's insane for me because I feel like in five minutes it's not enough time to actually get to the point of what is wrong with you and also in Mexico you know if there is like a complaint that let's say that you're bleeding I'm gonna give you an example like in the Netherlands once upon a time I had bleeding which was not my period, was not my menstruation. It was bleeding besides my period and this was already going on for five months. If I would have gone to the doctor in Mexico and I would have told him, the house doctor, if my mom wouldn't be that doctor, you know what, I'm having bleeding, even though it's not my period for five months already, he would send me right away to the gynecologist or I would not even have to go to a house doctor, I would just be able to call and go to the gynecologist directly. Well, in the Netherlands, first of all, you can't just go to a gynecologist or an ophthalmologist or an endocrinologist, you know. First, you have to go to a house doctor and the house doctor has to send you through the specialist. They have to give you a letter saying that, yeah, there, you need further checkup in this area. And if you make an appointment directly with the specialist that you want to see, you're, you're not able because they're gonna ask you for your letter from your house doctor so you need to go to the house doctor first but also having the house doctor send you through sometimes it's very tricky and very annoying and uh, once again I'm speaking from my foreigner perspective I know that many foreigners many expats have this issue that their doctors don't listen to their complaint or don't take them serious while Dutch people seem to have you know they have a fear out because it's their own country so they know how to get things done so well here in the Netherlands that I, when I was bleeding for five months already I went to the house doctor and I explained her I'm bleeding for five months which obviously it's not normal because it's not my period can you please send me to the gynecologist 
and instead of sending me through, she told me, let's wait one more month to see if it happens again, and then if it happens again, you come back. Well, for me that is crazy, because what would be the chance that it would not happen the sixth month? And even if it wouldn't happen, obviously there was something wrong those previous five months that I was bleeding twice per month. So that is something that I'm still not used to, you know, the medical, the medical healthcare, the doctors, the, all those things, because I seem to never be able to get like the medicines that I want or the checkups that I want. Like Dutch people don't drink a lot of medicines, they will barely ever give you anything besides paracetamol, which is pretty good in a way because, you know, it is obviously w well known that medicines are not very good for our bodies, for our organism, you know, they have a lot of side effects or they can make you dependent, so it's... You know, if you can just drink natural medicines or non-medicines at all and just let the flu or the virus or whatever just do and have its course of time and then just leave it your body with rest and good alimentation, then that's better. That's like the Dutch way of seeing things, which is kind of good. But in Mexico it's not like that, so sometimes I need something more than just paracetamol because I know paracetamol is not gonna do it for me because I just drink that to when I have a headache. So, you know, that is, I think, the thing that I'm still not used to, like the most, I don't know if I make sense. That is like the biggest shock still to this day, you know, the medical healthcare. The next thing that I'm not used to still is the fact that Dutch people like to plan in advance, but like way, way in advance. For example, let's say I wanna go with my group of friends to, to, I don't know, we just, we're just gonna do like a crazy activity, like we're just gonna go and go in a cano. So in Mexico, how you would say, how this would go is that you would just WhatsApp your friends and ask them if they're available next weekend to go canoeing with you and then they say yes and you make a reservation. Well in the Netherlands, you will, or how I've seen that it goes, is that people plan those things with one, two, sometimes three months in advance and that is something really funny for me, really weird, because in Mexico it's not like that. And while we are speaking about this, something else, like something which is actually similar, it's like summer plans. Dutch people in the winter, let's say December, January, they already know where they are going on holiday in the summer and they already book and they, you know, it's so, so insane for me because you're planning with seven months in advance well you never know where you're gonna be seven months from now for me in mexico it never goes like that you know people never plan a holiday with so much in advance unless it's a holiday which is like from mexico and you're gonna go to africa which is like super far away and you have to save super much and you know that you're gonna go to a super hot spot and that's always full so you make your reservation with many many months in advance but it's something really funny for me that people sometimes ask you in December, so where are you going on the summer? It's like, winter has just started, I have no idea what I'm even gonna eat tomorrow, how would I even know where I'm going on summer? But that was it guys, I guess that living in the Netherlands as a Mexican it's quite funny, you can see my experience here or here, but I mean, it's insane that I've been living here for five years and I sort of became an adult here because I came for the first time when I was 18 and I was still having this mindset of like a teenager and now I'm 25 and everything that I know about adulthood, I kind of know it from the Netherlands, but I'm still not used to it because I'm just so, so used to the Mexican ways. But with this video, I just want to end this video by saying that I don't think or I don't say that one way is better than the other, it's just completely different, cultures are different, it's like we're worlds apart and it's just very, I find it very funny and very interesting that I am able to see this and see it from another perspective than a Dutch person, of course a Dutch person doesn't think that this is weird, you know, because it's what they're used to. And if I would live in Mexico still, I never would have lived in the Netherlands, I would think also that the Mexican way is just the norm, while well, actually every country in the world has different ways of doing things. So it's very interesting for me to be able to realize those things and see those things through another lens and share it with you guys. So I hope that you are enjoying these videos and I hope that you're learning something about the Netherlands. 
or about Mexico or about how it is for a foreigner to integrate in the Netherlands. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as I always say, I wish you the best of luck today, tomorrow and every day. Bye!